Alright, I decided to do uh, one more video here of the bottom of the boat. Got the third and final coat of paint on tonight. Everything turned out good. I had just enough paint to uh, finish up. So I'm glad I went ahead and did the third coat. Uh, just for again, you guys have been following my thread. Just ease of mind. Uh, knowing that I did it right the first time type of thing. So Stupid gnats. I don't know how well you can see that, probably not too well at all, but I don't know why they love fresh paint. It's warm for a couple days, all of a sudden we got gnats. Uh, on the paint, again, the Petted Easy Poxy. Uh, did the undercoater, three coats of the Petted Easy Poxy. Uh, I love it. Looks a thousand times better than what it did. Uh, the paint seems really, really tough. Uh, you know, just after sitting a couple days before I put this third coat on. Uh, next thing will be to install all my eye bolts here in the bow, install the two in the stern, uh, drain plugs got to go in. Uh, that's pretty much it for uh, what has to be done next after after that's flip it, get it on the trailer and the cap, can't really see it over there but the cap is over there. That'll be next to come over and start work on that. Uh, what do we got? I don't know how well you can see that, but a little over 70, 72, 74 degrees. We had a couple warm days here uh, with the fire going. It's nice and toasty in here, sweating like a sweating like a pig. It's my pieces for the eye bolt and stern Atwood made in USA. 1250 for these. Uh, it was either 1250 for the USA ones. Or China ones for like 875. So stuck with USA. These look real close to uh, where are they? Real close to you know what I had in before. A little beefier, uh, longer shank. Uh, the shank can be moved in now, taken out if you need to get a longer piece. But pretty close to what I had before, so I was happy. Happy that I found those. See the dust that accumulated over in this area. Never move those parts again to clean everything, but uh, that's what you need. You need all your sandpaper supplies, your tape. I'm not going to need much taping. Maybe I'll need more taping on the top, but didn't need much for the bottom. Still got some resin left over for when I do the bottom of the boat, or the uh, cap of the boat, actually. It's my drain plug. Again, my, uh, my local boat place, they told me I could use their their uh, clamp or whatever you call it, your tool to put the drain plug in whenever I whenever I want it. So I'll be going over to get that soon. Some epoxy over there that I'm going to put in with the with the drain plug. I decided I'm going to go epoxy with the drain plug. Uh, again, ease of mind. They said I could just use silicone, but I'm going with epoxy. And uh, I'll use silicone then for the uh, bow eye bolt. And still undecided for the for the stern back here for my uh, my uh, for my tow hookups. You know those eye bolts. I'm still undecided if I want to use epoxy for those or silicone. I got the sea cast in there, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, speaking of the transom, that came out very well compared to what it looked like in the pictures. Smooth for the most part. Uh, there's a couple indentations you can see in the picture better, but right about here and just over there where the motor mount sat. But again, I filled, but I wasn't as uh, as technical or as trying to be a perfectionist as Arch Builder was. Did fill over a hundred little nicks and stuff, so I guess I was kind of perfectionist about it. The keel came out came out great. Uh, if you remember the keel was all beat up. I went with the high strength filler over the top of it and sanded that as best I could but again that was like supposedly unsandable. Uh, so I sanded it as best I could to get it smooth and I went over the top of that with the premium filler which is sandable and if you look at it, it came out pretty nice. Right here was an area that was, if you look back at my pictures, it was all beat up. Had a lot of whatever kind of filler on it that was never sanded down, just painted 
again just up there you could actually see still some indentations in the light uh, the second light that you see in the picture the indentations there that's where there was a ton of fill filler and uh, again it wasn't sanded down so that was a lot of time I don't know I think I have over over six hours or so just in the keel got about 28 hours or so on uh, filler filler and sanding the hull alone so definitely is a time uh, big time time project um, I can see why the boat places charge so much to do it for you but that's about it uh, came out very good very happy uh, and Arch if you're listening definitely drill your gauges and stuff before you paint I forgot to drill drill my uh, transom drain plug here and I did it after the first coat of paint I don't know if you could see it but up here yeah we had some some chipping but luckily that'll be covered by the by the lip uh, of the drain plug so if I could say anything to anybody I'd definitely drill all your holes and stuff before you paint just to avoid any kind of chips or anything like that uh, that's about it again real happy with the pet of paint real happy with how it turned out after three coats and uh, that's it next thing to be will be to get everything in like I said flip it put it on the trailer and uh, bring the cap over start working on the cap uh, I guess I'll show you guys where I have my cap here again my garage I divided with the tarp you know, just to keep the heat over on this side I got my my wood stash got some oak got some pine drawn to an end though with that stuff and I probably have about 20 pallets outside yet that stuff to be cut up use the pallets for the fillers and this bigger stuff for the the heat there's the cap back there under uh, probably an eighth inch layer of dust had some dust sneaking in through the top over there so this side of the garage is all dusty but yeah what are you gonna do can't win all the battles but see how much dust is in here again the cap luckily all I have to do really is take that tarp down uh, where I have it attached up top and the tarp will be slid basically straight over to the other side so I don't have to worry about moving all this stuff again what has to be done on the on the cap is uh, the supports up front underneath there's some delamination going delamination going on there so I gotta take that off take those supports out and put some new supports in uh, other than that that's pretty much all the work that will have to be done with poly and stuff uh, and other than that is just basically filling holes sanding and priming so I don't anticipate right now that taking as long as as the bottom of the boat did but well, that's pretty much it uh, hope you enjoyed the little video and we will uh, talk to you guys soon good luck with your projects enjoy the rest of your week Hopefully you get to your boats. Thanks again.